In iOS 8, Apple has added some new features to the App Store, making it a little easier to browse around some applications. First of all, there's a new Explore tab. If you remember, this used to be the Near Me tab. Now, I don't think anyone used that, so they decided to change it to Explore. Now, you can still access uh, apps near you that uses your location. This is nothing new. Uh, uses your location to determine apps that uh, might be of interest uh, to you, depending on your location. So it's showing me some local news stations, their apps. Uh, now, it also allows me to easier or more easily browse through categories. Uh, so I'll show you, uh, let's browse some food and drink applications. So it tells me some popular food and drink applications, but I can continue narrowing it down to maybe desserts. And then uh, it gives me a list of all those dessert applications. Let's go back to all. Now up here is a slider of all of uh, Apple's uh, cool little uh, like categorized kind of pages of apps. So let's go into the get in shape page. And uh, this is something that uh, usually appears on the featured page. Uh, where you can get into these pages, but now you can access them from the Explore page where Apple kind of gives their recommendations based on all of these uh, topics of getting in shape. So track your day apps, uh, classes and trainers apps. This is nothing new, um, but just how you access these is now through the Explore tab. Another change is in search. If we hop over to search, not only do we have a search bar, but now we have some trending searches. So you can see what other people are searching for. So FIFA World Cup, uh, Tetris is kind of popular at this point in time. Uh, so there's uh, trending searches so you can see what your friends are all searching for and downloading. Now on those search results, I can't demonstrate this to you right now because it's not really uh, functioning at this point in time in the beta process, but it will be once iOS 8 is released in the fall. There will be a editor's choice logo next to the apps that uh, were picked as an editor's choice, and you can view that right within the search results. So that kind of uh, sets apart uh, distinct apps from other applications by showing that editor's choice logo that may be an application that you may want to check out over an application that does not have the editor's choice logo. Also in the search results, there's a new way of scrolling. It's up and down scrolling now. Uh, in iOS 7, it used to be kind of like a page-based left-right scrolling, uh, which got annoying if you were possibly going through several applications uh, at once. You're not, not just not seeing what you wanted, and you kept scrolling. Now it's just continuous up and down scrolling. Something that will also be coming soon that developers can get a hold of is with these uh, previews, these little picture screenshot previews that you see in all of the apps. Developers can now choose to upload a video to demonstrate their application in action. So that video will appear in one of these tiles with a little play button, and you can play, and it will just go ahead and, and play the video for you. So a developer can now show off applications to you that way instead of just the screenshots. Another thing that will be new is app bundles. So developers can choose to bundle uh, all these applications that maybe all the applications that they make or a bunch of applications that work together or of a similar topic. They can bundle them together and offer them to you for a lower price than purchasing all of those applications together. So that will be coming soon in the fall as well, as well as a new feature that developers can use called Test Flight, which is where developers will be able to invite users to test their applications before they are put on the App Store. So uh, developers can maybe choose 200, 300 people uh, that they want to send their application to. And these will just be like regular people like you and me, regular users that will get in on some beta testing and we'll be able to try out applications for developers before they are released to the public in the App Store so that maybe the developer can squash some bugs before it's uh, released live.